Welcome back. This is going to be my full technical analysis of the commodities market and the precious metals market for Friday, December 11, 2020. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have broken down from here. Uh, this was completely expected. This was not a rally, a serious rally, to be fairly honest. And usually what happens when you have this gradual increase, you get a breakdown like this. So what we're seeing here is something similar to this. We just go gradually lower um, from here. So I think that we're going to take out these, uh, these previous lows of 19, uh, 1940, 1940, sorry. Um, and we are going to go significantly lower. Um, there is um, not a lot of room to the downside, but this is a setup, setup for this market to basically fall. And of course, this will have a very positive effect on commodities. We saw that today as well when this basically fell. Uh, oil rallied quite significantly, so did copper and so on. So there's a neg negative correlation when this uh, falls, commodities increase, and so do indices. And therefore, I think that, for example, the NASDAQ is going to have a major rally not just due to stimulus, but also because this is going to break the previous lows. That is what I do expect, and that's what this looks like. So let's look at gold, oil, sorry. And as you can see, we have rallied all the way up to 47.80. At this point, every pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average should be expected as a um, as a buying opportunity. I think the, the floor in this market at this point is 44 point, uh, 45, uh, something like that, around this area here. That should be the floor in this market. So we have these previous lows here. We have the 20 exponential moving this way. So a pullback towards this area here is a buying opportunity to 50. And I don't think we're going to see any real serious... Um, selling occurring in this market until we get to $50 a barrel. So technical indicators for this are looking, well, they are fairly bullish at this point. None of them are looking bearish. There's not a lot of room to the upside. So pullback towards this area makes sense, but that is major buying opportunity at this stage. Stop loss underneath the 20 exponential and the target of the 50. So let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, we have rallied nearly 5% today. Um, as I said yesterday, this is a market that could go up. This is a market that could go down. And therefore, um, it's not a very good trade. Uh, I like trading when you are at major support. For example, down here, this is almost a guarantee that it is going to rally. If it breaks below the 200 moving average, then we are going significantly lower. So... I don't like trading when we were basically in the middle because it's basically a 50-50 trade. It's a complete gamble in order to enter this trade. So at this stage, I think we're going to rally up towards the 20 and then roll over towards the 200 moving average. So until we get to that stage, I'm not entering this market whatsoever. So let's look at copper. As you can see, we have a major rally in copper today. Absolutely major rally. So this could be um, to do increased demand. It could also be the fact that the US dollar is depreciating again. And, um, well, what you can say, every single time you expect copper to, to break down, it rallies. So if you see something to move like this, expect it to rally and not basically fall towards the 20 exponential or the 50 at this stage. We are significantly overbought. Um, technical indicators are still very, very bullish. If we fall from here, then um, 3.5 is probably the floor in this market. And then you head towards this uh, 3.6 is the next target and then 3.7. So this is a market that just go high, goes higher and higher and higher. There are several, several um, stages of this rally where you expected this to just turn around and go lower but we have just increased all the way from 1.9 to 
3.5866 at this point. A major, ridiculous rally, to be very honest. Let's look at gold. So, we can see that um, we have broken below the 20 exponential. We're trading underneath the 20 exponential. This is not a very encouraging candlestick. So, uh, what I think is going to happen is that we're going to roll towards the 200 moving average um, and then go back up. We have a major resistance line here. And at some point, we are going to test this resistance line. We also have a major support line right here. And at some stage, we're also going to test that. So if this doesn't break, then it's a selling opportunity towards this line. If this doesn't break, then it's a buying opportunity towards this line. So we're most likely going to see choppiness towards this corner. And um, yes, in the long run, I think that we're going to break above towards 1900, 200, 2000, and then also 2100. Um, due to the fact that we're going to see enormous amount of spending from governments in 2021 in order to get their economies back on track. And that will be very bullish for gold. So getting close to this, buying opportunity, getting close to that is selling opportunity. So let's look at silver. Silver is still hanging out at the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. I think that we are going to head back towards these lows before we go higher. Uh, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for silver, we can see where we most likely will go to. The first one is here, that is $23. Uh, the next one is right above the 200 moving average at $20.84. Technical indicators for silver are looking more uh, dire at this stage. It's, it's, uh, stochastic has turned around, the CCI has turned around. So we'll probably head towards the $23 range and then rally again. So we also have this major resistance line here that we have to break through and also the support line here that we have to break through. So if I write this up in uh, the line here, we need to break that line in order to go higher and we need to break this line here in order to go significantly lower. So we'll probably head towards this area here. The first Fibonacci retracement is right here, then head back up, down, and then, then go significantly higher, similar to gold. So let's look at um, platinum. So we have rallied today significantly all the way up towards uh, 1,030. 36 and then we have given most of these gains back technical indicators for platinum are very mixed some of them are bullish some of them are bearish and uh, uh, this was probably an entry point to the upside maybe um, i'm still not convinced that we are going to rally all the way back to these very highs i think we're just gonna see choppiness here and then probably at some stage go to go higher but we need to get all closer to the 20 exponential and see that hold in order for an entry. A stop loss underneath here, a target of the very highs. So pallium. We can see that we rallied significantly, but this is more of the same. We are still within this range. We're just in the very middle of it. And at this point, we are... Well, just in the, technically the middle of it. So we're trading underneath the 250 and the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around, so we may head towards these highs. But this is not a very encouraging candle when you break down this significantly underneath the 50 moving average. These are sellers coming in and pressuring this down um, again. So at this stage, absolutely no interest in basically buying this or selling this. Up here, probably sell down here probably a buy so let's look at um, aluminium so aluminium continued this rally and it did what i expected it to do but um because usually it rallies significantly and then you think that it goes it will go much higher and then it just takes your head up so this is not a very encouraging candlestick this most likely will is indicating that we are going to go 
back towards the 20 exponential moving average and then maybe have another go at these highs. Technical indicators for aluminium are mixed. Uh, MACD is bearish, uh, stochastic is bullish, and the CCI is bullish, but the RSI is technically flat at this point. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, but I'm guessing that we are going to see a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average, probably a break of it, similar to they, this, and then go higher from here. So let's look at nickel. So it absolutely, absolutely took off today towards uh, 17,347. So yes, we should have probably entered the uh, nickel buy here, but it is, it is difficult to say. Um, this was a miss uh, on my behalf. And um, at this point, I think that we're going to see a pullback at least to the half around 16,000 or 17,000, 17, that's where we're going to see. But, um, well, you can't catch all of these trades. But this is a massive move to the upside. Absolutely massive. So a pullback is definitely a buying opportunity. And the closer that we get to the 20 exponential, similar to the here, that is a buying opportunity. It's just too risky to buy this at this stage because we are overbought. And these technical indicators are going to turn around at any point. So let's look at uh, sugar. This is becoming um, interesting yet again because we're just above the 50 moving average. If we can manage to, if the 50 can manage to hold here, then we can start buying this again towards these highs of 0 0.1501. Um, if that breaks, we go to the very highs. If the 50 moving average breaks, we're heading to these lows. So. We'll see what basically happens tomorrow, but this is a this is an interesting market to enter uh, because if this holds here, then we may see this market go significantly higher. So have a look at, at sugar. So let's look at cotton. We have taken out the previous highs here and then we broke down again. And at this point, we're just at the previous highs. I think that we are going to see this market go higher. Uh, we have been in an uptrend for a really long time. It is just a matter of time before we continue significantly higher. Any pullback towards the 20 exponential is a buy slip buying opportunity, um, but I don't think we are going to see that at this stage. I think tomorrow we are going to go uh, higher from here. So let's look at Kakoa. We can see that we have found support or some kind of support, but still we are trading now underneath the 20 exponential. So it has gone from being supportive to being resistant. And uh, we can look at where we found the support. So right at the 50 Fibonacci retracement, we found this support. So we still need confirmation from these technical indicators that we are going to rally from here. We also, we need to break above the 50, you know, 20 exponential moving average in order to confirm that we are going to test these highs again. But this is an encouraging sign that we find, it was as expected that we find <clears throat> uh, support here, but we'll see what happens. We need to break the 20 exponential um, and then you can basically start buying this with a stop loss right underneath here and a target of these very highs. So let's look at wheat. Wheat has rallied all the way up towards the 50 moving average and then found resistance. And uh, this is kind of what I was afraid of. Um, I prefer that we broke the 50 moving average and basically uh, close the session above the 50 moving average. And that would be a much more encouraging sign than this. I am afraid that we are going to see a pullback towards these lows again if we don't manage to break the 50 moving average. But these technical indicators are very encouraging. If we start trading above the 50 moving average, then, then definitely this is a buying opportunity in order to take out these highs and then the very highs. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to, to write to me if you have any questions about any of these commodities. And uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.